show you exactly how I made almost a million dollars in revenue selling this product right here and over $350,000 in profit. If you don't make money after this video, I don't know what to tell you. So how exactly did I find this product? Well, it was pretty much the same exact way I found most of my other winners in the past, PP ads. So let's go ahead and head over to my screen. Let me show you exactly how I was able to find this product on PP ads. So like I've explained before in my previous video, this is PP ads. PP ads is basically an ad library that shows all active ads that are currently being ran on TikTok. And if you do want to get PP ads, I do recommend using my Spy Essentials link in my description so that you're only paying $29 a month instead of $263 a month. So back on to PP ads, I'm pretty much going to show you guys the filters that I use to find the shark slides on PP ads and the filters that I pretty much use to find all of my winners. So first filter is the CTA button. I like to put that at Shop Now, the e-com platform. I like to put that at Shopify so it shows me Shopify stores. Ad type, I like to do non-branded ads. Landing page, I do Shopify product, like rate above 1% like rate, any like rate below 1%, it kind of shows that people are not really interested in the video. Okay, so now let's go over why did I choose a product, right? So one of the main reasons why I chose a product is I low key wanted the product, which isn't a bad thing. If you want a product that you find, that could be a really, really good sign because that means, you know, if you show interest, that means other people can show interest in wanting the product as well. Now, reason number two is I saw some competitors that were selling this product, but they weren't really selling it in a way that I think the product should have been sold. They weren't really doing that good. And I saw so much more potential in the product. And that's exactly why I decided that this would be a good product to sell. Now, the third reason that I saw that this product could do good is it's a funny, quirky looking, cool little product, which is perfect for TikTok. Like when you look at these shark slippers, to me, it just screams TikTok. You know, the audience on TikTok I just feel like they would love this product and that they would buy it. Now, my fourth reason why I thought this product was pretty good and would sell good is because I asked a few of my friends what they think about it, and most of them said that it was a really good product and that they would buy it for themselves, which is a really, really good sign. You guys, I want you guys to realize that you can utilize, you know, your people around you, your friends, your siblings, or whatever. Ask them what they think about the product and ask, like, you know, an honest opinion on whether they buy it or not or what they think because, you know, these opinions from these people, you know, could be regular customers, you know, that you can get. You know what I'm saying? So if you ask these opinions, you're kind of testing the product without testing the product if that makes sense so i ended up ordering a few pairs off of amazon and i believe i got them within two days and the very next day i started recording content so what was my game plan steal from the ops but make it better so around that time there was this account called cloud sharks which was pretty much the only account that was uploading consistently on TikTok, but their videos weren't really that good. So obviously I had to figure out a way to make it better. And after some thinking, I decided the best way to market this product is to make it a trend of wearing these slides with your friends. And how exactly did I do that? It's cool. Additionally, as well as organic, I wanted to go the paid ads route with this product because nobody was really scaling this product really hard on paid ads, but there also wasn't any good video ads to use for paid ads. So I decided to go to my personal dropshipping ad servers viral ecom ads. So we're gonna go ahead and head over back to my screen and I'm gonna show you guys exactly what viral ecom ads is. So viral ecom ads is pretty much a service that is able to make you highly engaging ads for your dropshipping product. All you gotta do is send them whatever product you're selling and choose a package and they'll be able to make a highly engaging ad for your product. For example, me at the time, whenever I was looking for ads, I went ahead and did the TikTok split testing package right here. And I was also a VIP member, so I got it for just $12.50. You know, if you're not a member, you'll get it for $50. So I do recommend signing up to be a VIP member just so you can save some money, but they have a bunch of different other packages. For example, if you're running Facebook ads, you can do the image split testing package, which I did as well later down the line when I started running Facebook ads. And they also have a Facebook video ad package right here. And honestly, if you're gonna test a product with paid ads, I do recommend getting the TikTok split testing package so that you get three video ads for your product. And the pretty cool thing is that there's a bunch of different add-ons that you can add. For example, you can add a voiceover right here, as you see. Like I said, I use these for the shark slides and the video ads that I got were amazing. They did really good on ads. We'll get into that later on. So I highly recommend going to viral ecom ads. Make sure you use my link in my description to claim your 15% off. Like I said, if you need any image or video ads for Facebook or TikTok, viral ecom ads is the way to go. This is what I've been personally been using for the past few years now. So I have the first link in the description for you guys to get your video ads from viral ecom ads. So after a few days of posting organic videos for the shark slippers in school, I finally had my first video to pop off, which was this one. So 
So that video ended up getting a couple hundred thousand views in the first few days, which got me to a thousand followers, which meant I was able to finally put my website link inside of my bio. And that's when the first few sales started rolling in. So now that I had one video going viral, I knew exactly what I needed to do to keep going viral over and over again, which is pretty much repeating the exact same viral video and doing it in different variations over and over and over again. In my case, like I said earlier, the viral trend that I had just came up with was encouraging you and your friends to get shark slippers and just wear it to be cool or whatever. For example, I wasn't just saying get the shark slides for your friends anymore. I started saying it to get it for your siblings, your cousins, whatever it is. Like for example, check out this video. This okay, is your sign to get you and the gang shark slides. Shark squad. All right guys, so I wanna show you guys a TikTok page real quick. So hopping back over to my screen, as you see, as I'm just spamming out these videos, I'm getting a few hundred thousand views here and I'm starting to implement different types of trends. For example, I started saying stuff like, quit wearing Crocs in 2023 or whatever like that and start wearing the shark slides. But pretty much I had a bunch of these videos, but pretty much I just started coming up with different types of trend ideas and started having a lot of videos popping off. As you see, I'm making videos in school like that. And around this time, I ended up peaking my sales at $21,000 in sales from organic and paid ads with video ads from viral e-com ads, all from these shark slides. And so of course, as you know, business is not just smooth sailing. Here is where things went downhill. Like I said, after I was posting these videos for just a few weeks, making thousands of dollars every single day, Shopify decided to hit me with a payout hold. So if you don't know what a payout hold is, pretty much on new stores, Shopify does a standard review on your payments once you start making sales, just to make sure that your business is legit and you're not scamming people. So pretty much they're gonna hold on to the money that I was making every single day until they complete their review. And honestly, at first I wasn't worried, you know, I was filling my orders, I wasn't scamming obviously or anything anything like that. And I was just under the impression that, you know, a new store went from zero to making $20,000 every single day within a week. You know, of course they're gonna have to review the account. So I submitted all the documents that they were requesting and I just waited and waited and waited. Now mind you, this whole time I'm still waiting, I'm still getting sales every single day doing about 20 to $30,000 you know, because my videos are still going viral. So now this is where I start to get worried because I start to realize that for whatever reason, Shopify decides to hold my funds for 90 to 180 days, you know, after reviewing, because because they do do that sometimes. Then I pretty much have no way of fulfilling all the orders that I just got because they're gonna be holding the money and I'd most likely have to refund all the orders. And because I was going so viral at the time that they were reviewing the account, I ended up accumulating over $130,000 just pending, you know, waiting on hold from Shopify while they review the account. So let that sink in. Imagine just $130,000 sitting with Shopify and you don't know, you know, whether you're gonna get the money or not. And I promise you on my life, I did not sleep for two days straight because I was just so stressed about it, like just worrying about it. But thankfully, after a whole entire week of them holding my money, they ended up sending me an email saying that they're gonna release the money. And I was finally able to breathe and sleep again, knowing that, you know, I'm gonna be able to fulfill these orders and everything. Now, let me explain to you guys exactly why I believe I was able to go viral and how you can pretty much replicate the exact same thing and go viral for your product as soon as tomorrow. So as I explained earlier in the video, I pretty much found two to three viral frameworks and pretty much cycled them and repeated them and milk those spiral frameworks with all of my videos over and over and over again. And most of those videos that I was posting with that viral framework was going viral. And I want you guys to understand that once you get that eensy tiny bit of momentum, you need to take that momentum and just run with that momentum and ride it all the way as long as you can. And that's literally exactly what I did for the entire month of June. And I ended up making over $200,000 in sales that month. And on top of that, I was also reposting all of my TikTok videos onto Instagram Reels, which were also going viral as well. Now, one thing that a lot of people don't realize is that whatever is going viral for you on TikTok, if you repost it on Instagram Reels, there's a 99% chance that it's gonna go viral on Instagram as well. So guys, honestly, please, I beg you, do not sleep on Instagram Reels. It's such a slept on platform and it's so easy to go viral on there as well. So after making silly ass TikToks for these shark slippers, I ended up making just under a million dollars in sales with these slides right here, which is honestly just crazy to me. That just proves to you that pretty much if you go viral on TikTok and you know how to go viral on TikTok and you're selling a product, you can pretty much make almost anything go as long as it fits into my winning products criteria. Now, I do go over my winning products criteria inside of my program. If you want access to that program, DM me the word YouTube 
on Instagram. But if you want me to post a YouTube video on exactly what I look for in these products, go ahead and leave a like on this video and comment something below and I'll get that done. But that's pretty much it for this video. I appreciate you guys for watching. Make sure you guys like the video and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.